Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. <laughs> I nearly fell over had the chin in my hand. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, today I am doing a tipsy Q&A. So I do have a power and violet gin and lemonade and it is a triple <laughs> so it is a little bit strong but I'll be okay in this video I promise yes I am a lightweight as well but I'll be fine I promise Um also if you can't see a little bit of black eyeshadow like underneath my eyes please ignore it I added some black eyeshadow after I had already put my foundation and powder on which is an awful idea as it fell onto my like cheeks I tried to brush it away and it just smudged everywhere so please ignore the black marks on my face yes I look awful and no I am not joining a tribe <laughs> what, what a weirdo I am but anyway I did ask you guys to give me some questions on my YouTube channel and I did get a few so today in this video I will be answering them in this little Q&A so without further ado Let's go on with the video. Before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video because it would really help your gal out. Please make sure to leave a comment down below if you are watching this video and make sure to subscribe if you are a new person and you're liking the look of my channel and everything. But yeah, so I will load the questions up. I do have quite a few and someone asked, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear will have to be um, when I'm older, I would hate to be old, like, and have um, no family around me, and I'll be like a lonely old person. I would absolutely hate that. And I am also scared of the sea as well. Like, I literally hate swimming in the sea. I am scared in case a shark or like a whale will like attack me or eat me. I honestly hate the sea as well. So loneliness and the sea are my two worst fears. Honestly be awful. Someone asked do you want kids? Yes I do want kids when I am around 23, 24, 25 around that age range and I would like two girls obviously you can't choose but I would love a little girl because everyone on my mum's side of the family have a lot of girls and I have grown up with a lot more girls in the family so I would love to have a little girl. Bonnie! <laughs> What was the need for that? And I already have some names chosen for my future kids as well. I literally have a list on my phone and I have planned their first name and their second name already. And if Scott or whoever I am with in the future hates their names, then I am sorry, but I will not be changing them. <laughs> oh my God, I sound like so controlling. I'm really not, I promise. Anyway, I need to have a sip of this. Cheers, everybody. Honestly, this power violet gin is unreal. Next question. What are your pet peeves? My pet peeves are when people do not say please or thank you. Like, it is so easy to say please or thank you. Like, it is so rude. Like, I work in a restaurant. I serve a lot of customers. And the one thing I cannot stand is when people do not say please or thank you. Like, it is so easy. It is a basic rule. Well, no. It isn't a rule, is it? But like, it's a basic, you know, thing to say. It isn't hard to say it, you know? That is the one thing I cannot stand. And have we got any others? I really hate it when walking in town and there are like a group of girls and they're all staring at you and like talking about you. Honestly, I cannot stand that as well. Like, some people out there are just horrible and and I also hate it when people try to bully other people as well. That is honestly so disgusting. Like, why the hell would you want to bully anyone? I do not know. So I hate people who don't have any manners and I cannot stand bullying either. So if you are someone who does not say please or thank you or you bully people, we will not be friends. Keep your distance. <laughs> right. Oh, this gin. Mm. It, honestly, it's been so warm as well, by the way. Are you on the pill? Yes, um, I have been on the pill. It is called Regividon or something. It is the most common pill, I think, and you take it for um, 
in a few weeks and then have a break on it and I have been taking it for a few weeks and I am now on my break of it and so far I find it okay. I was also on another pill at the start of the year um, it was called Seraceti and honestly I had the worst mood swings I was bleeding on it for two weeks like it was no I, I mean I was bleeding on it for two months I honestly had the most heaviest bleeding in the world I had the worst cramps I was just a moody spotty mess it was just the worst pill ever but on the pill I'm on now um, I was like I'm finding it okay I do have some mood swings every now and then however it is, it is a common side effect of the pill. I, I find it okay so far, so hopefully it'll work out, otherwise I'll have to find another one and I hate phoning the doctors. So hopefully this pill will work out for me. I have been taking it for a few weeks and I am on my break now, so I'm hoping it works okay. Right, so my next question is, what is your biggest insecurity? I will say it is my stutter as I do hate it and I have had it for 11 years and say that I'm nervous, like I stutter more. I never want anyone to notice it either but you know, like it makes me feel so awful and so low as well. I'll say that my stutter is the biggest insecurity I've got and 11 years of it, it's just it, like it has been hard I will say and it has put me down a lot as well and this is awful. Just learning to live with it and I do have my good days and my bad days as well. What was your favourite film growing up? My favourite film of all time was all the high school musicals. Like the high school musical, high school musical 2, high school musical 3. I loved all their music, like it was just such a good film. And even now I do have a little sing along every now and then to the high school musical songs because they are just Boppers, <laughs> aren't they? Favourite like TV show was Tracy Beaker, like I used to watch that all the time. And also The Dumping Ground as well. I used to watch them all the time. They were my faves as well. So High School Musical and Tracy Beaker were the OGs, you know? Would you like to move out in the future? Yes, of course. However, I'm only 18. I cannot afford to move out, but hopefully in five years or so, I'll be 23 in five years, 23 in five years, like in five years I could maybe have a husband, a baby in a house, imagine if that happened in five years, five years time, I would love to like have my own place, I'd be able to have it all like pastel pink and grey and like floral and like rose gold themed it honestly it would be so cute so, so like in the future yes of course i would love to move out mm. 110 percent and like it'll it, honestly it'll be so cute do you think scott is the one so scott is my boyfriend and he's my third boyfriend wow i'll move on fast don't i oops no um I will say that Scott is so kind, so caring, he has a heart of gold and he honestly, he makes my heart melt and he makes me smile so much every time I see him. I've only been dating him for a month and I can't believe it, it, it's only been a month, like it's been so slow but I, I will say that Scott is the one I would say because we are really similar, like our personalities are the same, we like the same things, like he's into YouTube as well which is a bonus because I've always wanted a boyfriend who's been into YouTube and Scott is a true supporter, he supports me with everything that I do and I will say he is the one for me, definitely and I know there will be people on here who will be like well if you've only been dating a month you're only 18, 19, however, compared to other people who have dated, I will say Scott is definitely the one. Have you ever had a pregnancy scare? No. If I thought that I had a baby inside of me, I would be crapping myself. I would be like so anxious, I'd be like, oh my god, I literally have a baby inside of me. No. Um, 
No, uh, no, I haven't actually. <laughs> I don't even know why I had to think about that question because I've never had a pregnancy scare. I would hate to have one at this age because I'm only young. I want to live my life a little bit, obviously, because I'm only young. If I was to find out I was pregnant at the age of like in my early 20s, then you know, it'd be okay. But for now, for me personally, I don't think I could have a child because, firstly, I've only been dating Scott for a month and like it would be a bit like oh my god <laughs> you know but yeah but no I've never had a pregnancy scare thank god <laughs> when was your first kiss my first kiss was when I was around 10 years old I think in primary school in the playground yeah it was so sweet obviously <laughs> at the age of 10 all the boys were obviously after me <laughs> but oh my god at 10 years old wow I was young are there any youtubers you would love to collab with oh there are a few so there is a long list the dad v girls amber knight oh who else it's actually really hard S summer xo and brandonio they are my favorite youtubers and you know a collab with all them youtubers would be great like it would be so amazing. So everybody, here is the end of my q and I really hope that you guys have learned a little bit more about me. If you have, make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel because I would love to hit 4k subscribers by the end of my... what? The end of October which is my birthday so please subscribe if you haven't already and I will go and enjoy the rest of my gin. But anyway, I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye everybody.